Hello guys, my name is Muskan and I am going to share my biology notes with all of you. I hope you like this video and today I discuss the topic biodiversity hotspots. The concept of hotspots was introduced in 1989 by Norman Mayers. Biodiversity hotspots are regions with species richness and a high degree of endemism. These are Earth's most biologically rich yet threatened terrestrial regions. To qualify as a hotspot, a region must have two strict criteria. First, it must have at least 1,500 vascular plants as endemics. Second, it must have 30% or less of its original natural vegetation. There are currently 36 recognized biodiversity hotspots in the world, but in which four biodiversity hotspots are present in India. First, Himalayan. Second, Indo-Burma. Third, Western Guards and fourth, Sunderlands. First, Himalayan. This hotspot covers the eastern part of the Himalayan mountain range spanning across Bhutan, Nepal, and the northeastern states of India. It is renowned for its high plant diversity and endemic species, including the red panda, snow leopard, and several species. Second, Indo-Burma region. The Indo-Burma region encompasses several countries. It is spread out from eastern Bangladesh to Malaysia and includes northeastern India. South of Brahmaputra rivers to Myanmar. It is characterized by diverse habitats including rainforest, wetlands and grasslands and is home to many unique and endangered species such as the Asian elephant, clouded leopard and hulu gibbon. Third, Western Ghats and Sri Lanka. The Western Ghats mountain range along the western coast of India is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the eight hottest biodiversity hotspots in the world. It is known for its loose forests, numerous endemic species of plants and animals and rich freshwater ecosystem. Fourth, Sunderlands. The Sunderlands hotspots include the Andaman and Nicobar Island as well as parts of the Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia. It is known for its tropical rainforest, mangrove swamps and coral reefs supporting ripes species like orangutans, tigers and rhinoceroses. Now, I discuss the importance and benefits of hotspots. Biodiversity hotspots are a special place on earth that have a lot of different plants, animals and other living things. These hotspots are really important because they have a wide variety of species that can't be found anywhere else. Biodiversity hotspots also help us in many ways. This gives us medicine, food and clean water. They help keep the air clean and climate stable. They are like nature's treasure troughs, full of amazing and useful things. First, Biodiversity hotspots have high species diversity. Second, biodiversity hotspots have unique and endangered species. Third, biodiversity hotspots provide essential ecosystem services that benefit humans. Fourth, biodiversity hotspots hold a very array of genetic resources. Fifth, biodiversity hotspots play a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate. So, in summary, we can say that generally we call hotspots the place where any species is found in large numbers.